So hey guys, welcome to another pedal video. Today we are going to be looking at my new compressor pedal, the Wampler Ego Compressor. Um, I'm also going to talk about how I use a compressor and also why I think it's kind of the secret sauce for a good tone, any good tone, so gain tones, clean tones, anything. Um, of course I know that there is a new version coming out and a mini version of this pedal but I felt like I didn't really need the mini version and it's pretty similar to the new kind of facelifted version of this. So, I'm sure you know what a compressor basically does. It makes loud things quiet and quiet things loud, compressing your, uh, not necessarily dynamics, but compressing the signal. So everything is a similar sort of level. You can still get dynamics, um, Dynamics isn't just volume, it's about playing hard, playing soft, and other things like that. But, uh, the, compre the really squashy sound of a compressor, so everything basically on full, is has become really popular and a staple in tones for funk and country playing. Because it adds the kind of percussion, you get the um, hit on the strings, you know, muted strings, you get those just as loud as the notes. But I don't necessarily play funk or chicken pick that often, so I kind of maybe don't use a compressor in the most standard way. It's not unheard of, obviously, but I'm not. I don't use it for a big squashy sound. I've had the MXR Dynacomp on my board for years, and I didn't really know how to use it until kind of not that long ago, probably a year or so ago kind of figured out what it was actually doing. Kind of use a compressor to as an ex sort of exciter, an exciter for my tone, so make it a bit more lively, make kind of harmonics stand out more. Uh, also use it as a slight boost at the front of my uh, pedal chain into other drive pedals. Really works nicely for uh, kind of lower gain solo tones with the art for my J Rocket Archer for example. So yeah, the MXR is a great compressor pedal. Um, really solid, does everything that, you know, for that squashy sound, it does everything you probably need it to. However, I started to notice a few things that I wasn't a fan of on the compressor pedal, um, on the Dynacom. Uh, I, I kind of thought I was losing a bit of attack on the note, uh, which is a common thing with these, you know, with any compressor pedal, is uh, you lose a bit of attack because it's compressed. The, la the loudest part of your playing is the attack, um, and the compressor pedal brings that down. So I felt I was losing a lot of attack with this. I also thought it was changing my tone quite a bit, which is where the ego compressor comes in by Wampler. Um, I was only looking for a compressor with a blend knob so I could get some of my attack back and some of my kind of clean tone back so it was a small, much more subtle effect. The, the Ego is also actually based on, I guess, one of the uh, vintage Dynacomps, an old Dynacomp. So the tone that I was getting from uh, the Wampler is still pretty familiar to me, which is good. I can go anywhere with this pedal from the squash of funk playing and country picking all the way to a very transparent tone with just more sustain for soloing I guess. Um, I'm going to go through a few different tones with the Ego. Uh, a few that are on just the, from the Ego manual, uh, kind of what Wampler suggests are good ways to use the compressor. And then at the end I'm going to kind of show you how I use it and also show you how I use it with an overdrive pedal. I'm going to be playing through the Victory V40. I'm at home so I have my amp which is great. Uh, I'm also going to be using my Les Paul which you've not seen yet on a video. Just to show that, I mean I guess compressors are generally used with single coils but I'm, just, I'm going to use my Les Paul with humbuckers just to show you that it still sounds great with humbuckers. 
Uh, I will make a comparison video between the two. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like and subscribe if you do. Um, if not, I'd really like you to leave feedback in the comments, you know, suggestions. I feel like that's maybe something a lot of YouTubers don't do, is ask for feedback. I'd really like to hear you guys' opinion on what I'm doing, how I can get better, how I can... Any ideas you've got for different videos. Without further ado, 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 here is the Wampler Ego Compressor. Enjoy guys, cheers. The Ego Compressor, this is my clean sound, humbuckers, victory. And then the Ego, everything at noon to start with, everything at 12 o'clock. So even everything at noon, a simplest setting, uh, you get a lot of compression and a lot of sustain as well. So. We're at really low volumes here. Uh, well, not really low. I'm running at 7 watts and the master's about a quarter of the way up. Um, that's also another big thing of how I use a compressor. I use it when I'm practicing at home at really low volumes. Having a little tiny bit of compression on it, uh, on the, on it makes it sound and react to my playing like if I was had it on full blast. Kind of. Similar sort of thing anyway. So, we're going to go through the settings that are in the Wampler manual for the Ego Compressor. The first setting they've called uh, on the manual website is called Chicken Picking. So I'm going to put that in. We have the blend knob all the way up, the attack about 2 o'clock, tone about noon, sustain about 2 o'clock as well. So yeah, clean sound. Ego, chicken picking. So that's really, really bloody compressed. Um, it's probably quite good for funk as well. So yeah, I don't really ever use that much compression, but it's there if you need it. Next, on the Wampler manual is the gentle tone sweetener. That sounds nice. Uh, so we have attack is all the way up. Uh, sustain is about 11 o'clock. Tone is about 9 o'clock all the way down. Interesting. Volume, noon, blend, noon. So I'm not going to play the clean sound. You know what that sounds like. So. sound. That is a really nice set. That's really nice. I think that's going to work nicely with the Archer, so 
archer pedal without uh, everything pretty much at noon on the archer pedal. So archer pedal without the compressor. <laughs> With the compressor. sounds amazing. I am going to turn the tone up a little bit, it gets a bit dark. I'm just turning it up to noon. Sorry, I could play that all day. That sounds really nice. That might be my new favourite setting. So that's the gentle tone sweetener. So next up on the Wampler manual is squashed but with perfect transients. So transient is the attack. So I guess it retains all the attack. So let's set this one up. We have the blend about 11 o'clock. Attack all the way up again, sustain about 2 o'clock. So that's the main difference, I guess, from this and the tone sweetener. It's this very similar, but more sustained, more uh, kind of compression, basically. Um, and then everything else at noon, so I'm going to do a quick tune. So that's going to go out tune again, but is squashed but with perfect transients. Yeah, it's definitely got the attack still there. That's a lot of compression, that's a lot of sustain. You hear that on that chord? It's beautiful. So the last one on here is just a hint of clean. Uh, this is very similar to how I personally use this in my band uh, live. So we have the blend about 2 o'clock, attack about 1 o'clock, uh, tone, noon, sustain about 1 o'clock. So very similar. Uh, here it is. It's So I'm going to show you again with the archer, so without the archer, not we, with the archer, without the ego.
have it. The Wampler Ego Compressor. Uh, I hope I've explained kind of how I use a compressor and how it doesn't have to always be kind of a really squashy sound and it doesn't have to be just for country and funk music. So, the Wampler Ego Compressor. Again, please like, subscribe, and also leave some feedback in the comments. I will read it. Uh, it will re really help me with ideas and improving anything like that. So yeah, the Wampler Ego Compressor. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.